So the overall objective of the project is to increase profitability in pear orchards by developing management systems and management practice, practices that can increase the consistency in terms of quality and, and yield in pear orchards. A lot of pear orchards are still use traditional um, techniques of growing them, widely spaced orchards on vase trees. Um, there's also a lot of, uh, you know, the, the, the green pear cultivars that have been grown around here for a long time. Uh, in term, that's um, Williams and Packham pears. Um, so what we really need to do is, is bring the industry along uh, more aligned with the sort of technology and systems that are used in the apple industry. So in other words, um, you know, looking at, well, we, we're actually looking at uh, different training systems, different rootstocks, different um, uh, planting densities, um, how colour develops in some of the blush varieties, etc. So it's really about trying to upscale or increase the ability of um, pear growers to be a lot more innovative and grow fruit to market specifications. We're standing right in the middle of our experimental pear orchard here at the Tatura Smart Farm. So a lot of the work we're going to be doing in, the, uh, in this project will be done within this experimental orchard. Um, we've got some long-term long experiments looking at planting systems and rootstocks and, and, and tree density. So we'll be looking at the long-term effects uh, of, of those, those experiments in terms of yield and fruit quality. Um, we'll be looking at the crop load relationships. Um, we'll be looking at various thinning techniques um, uh, so that we can actually remove any biennial bearing in pears um, and also of course maximise fruit size and, and, and fruit quality through those thinning strategies tied to crop load relationships. Uh, we'll be looking at alternate netting, what we call alternate netting, where it's a, a, a structure where we're actually aiming to actually let a lot of light through in the morning to enhance colour development, uh, but in the afternoon uh, let, let a lot less light through so that the, the fruit is not going to be susceptible to sunburn damage. Um, and we'll also be looking at uh, you know, tools that growers can use, um, we, in particular a mobile platform where we've got sensors mounted on that mobile platform that we're hoping to be able to actually measure things like fruit size and fruit colour and, um, and tree size. So, uh, you know, at the moment that technology is being used in apple orchards, what we really want to do is, is, is test in other words, calibrate and validate that those sort of sensors for um, pear orchards. And the last bit of work we'll be doing is, is looking, looking at some of the determinants of colour development in pears, in particular what effect light is having on colour, but also how temperature can influence that colour development as well. Within our experimental pear orchard here, uh, we'll actually be um, uh, using this orchard for other PIP3 projects, in particular the the um, pests and disease projects project, as well as the soil um, health project. So some of the um, buffer rows within the experimental orchard, they'll be um, setting up some treatments to look at the understory species, the understory management. Um, the aim there is really to try and identify what type of um, uh, uh, plants, you know, understory, can actually be grown that can improve the, um, uh, the the population of predators for some of our insect pests, um, but also how it can be improving the soil health. In other words, the the soil structure, um, whether that can actually be whether there can be improvements in the in the soil nutrition and the soil biology as well. <laughs>